Hello my convicts and convict heads, just to design a cup of convict and yes we're going to play some more Fortnite as you can see and we're landing in the land of Deadpool. I thought I'd come to the boat, I expected people to come here, no one decided to turn up. Unfortunately, my only little hint of what's going to happen in this gameplay. But uh, yeah, we're using the NetDuma R2 gaming router and we're going to now see how much of a difference the NetDuma R2 is going to make towards me playing games. So the first thing that I've noticed is picking up stuff has got a lot better as you can see I'm auto picking up a lot, lot easier. The delays seem to be far few if any and it has improved. And also I've noticed the ping in the top left corner as well is not accurate in the Fortnite game. Throughout this entire game I was on a solid 20 ping according to my NetDuma. And I would rather go with NetDuma than it would be with a ping from a game. So definitely the Fortnite game does not give you a true representation of what your ping is in game. So just be aware of that. But I do feel like the game was a lot more responsive and it doesn't feel as much as a bad thing, you know, with the input lag or delay that I've had previously with Fortnite like I was talking about in my previous video so I definitely feel it has been improved so just take some more stuff here anyway so this is pre-recorded as you probably can tell but I really want to do this as my little boy was obviously awake earlier and then I took him to bed he's been in bed for a while now and I like to give him a chance to sleep before I start doing any recordings it gives me a chance to obviously get things done so yeah so here we go so this is the update obviously with the vehicles in the game now something I really really do like having the vehicles because they have made a big difference to getting around map and obviously tracking down people. One thing I've always hated is going around and you just can't find anyone, which is really annoying. Now at least I have the option to do so. And it's a lot, lot easier and better. Just riding around on my boat. Obviously not too much. I don't want to be messing about too much riding a boat. Especially when I've only got 120 odd maths. It's obviously not going to be a good thing. And to be honest I prefer the cars to the boats. At least the cars have some form of protection and the boats don't really give you that much protection as such. So as you can see here I was like, do I need that? It's like, nah, I'm not taking a burst. Even though I feel like the bursts might be a little bit more accurate. Because I've been, I've been, one of the biggest problems I really hate in this game that I always mention and I think I'll still continue to mention is the goddamn bloom in this game is absolutely ridiculously bad. I'm so fed up of getting to a situation where I'm shooting someone dead on and it doesn't detect. So I was tempted to take that. I was like, no, I'm not taking that. And here comes Mr. Carr. It's like, okay, where are you? Here you are. And I'm just going to build up then jump down. And now I'm going to take care of you. Bye bye, buddy. One thing you should never do is drive cars on grass. It's not a good idea, as you could tell. And I didn't want to take the car for the sake of obviously being heavily damaged already by me. But yeah, don't drive cars on the grass. Keep them to the roads. That's what they're made for, which I'm kind of glad that they did that as well. They added that feature in that cars don't drive while on grass. Because otherwise, obviously, they'd just be maniacs just driving everywhere trying to run you over all the time and I'm glad that there is a stipulation that if you drive a vehicle you can only drive it properly if you in fact drive it on the road 
Anyway, so that's our further victim. Here's our second one. Okay, I'm just going to build up on him and try and get above him. He's like, okay, he's building up. He's like, okay, come back down. I'm like, no, 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 you're not building. You're not building any higher. Let's come back down. And again, he's trying to build up on me. He's like, okay. You can try. Nice shotgun time. 76 blue. All right, come on. Come down, buddy. And as you can see, visualizations tell me he's trying to heal, so I don't want him to heal. I was like, where's he gone? He's like, oh, hang on. He's, he's down below somewhere. And here he is. I'm like, hold on. I just need to reload. He just tried to start editing. I'm like, go on. You, you keep trying to edit, buddy. And I'm just going to shoot you. Another 22 shot there. And there we go. Give him a little tap. Again, can see where he is because of visualization. There you go. He's out of here. So I'm just trying to build around. Just can see how fast I can build. Wow, the speed in the turning in build mode. Absolutely insane. So I thought I saw some materials underneath. That's why I broke it. But there isn't anything in there. And as you can see, I can edit pretty quick as well. I do need to fix my editing button though. My reset button for editing is kind of in the wrong place. I need to rethink where I want that. So here comes Mr. Boatman. Is that okay? You wanna boat it, do you? Right, come here then, so I can shoot you. I don't know what this guy was doing, but that's not a good idea. <laughs> He was just enjoying more just playing Mr. Boatman, I think, than he was doing anything else. Another vehicle obviously you can drive, but again, driving it on grass is not a good idea. I don't know if these are good in this area. It's obviously a bit weird to have vehicles kind of already in the grass area if they're not good for getting out that area. So I did hear like a car, it's like, I'm sure I heard a car, then I thought, hang on, is there someone in there? And yes there is, it's like, okay. Tickle, tickle. I'm like, right, I'm coming buddy. I'm coming in. And he's trying to heal as you can see. Oh, drop down. Just trying to stop him from trying to go up. And here he is. Like, Kawabunga! There you go. <laughs> the jumping drop kick to the face. And there you go. Four limbs so far. I was like, well, hey, I'm doing so well. And here we go. Finally, we get a car. I'm hoping I don't get demonetized from this music, but yeah. So, start driving through, steal this other car in a moment. Right, but I'm going to take this one. Get this car out of my way. And there we go. So, I really like the vehicles mainly because obviously I can chase people. Now, first of all, this was a person. But when I get out and I notice this NPCs, it's like, oh god, no, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not even going to play, no, I'm sorry. I could have probably just ran them all over, to be honest, but I didn't want to risk just taking unnecessary damage from a bunch of AI. It's just pointless. So now it's just drive around until I get attacked and uh, then kick some booty. So you can see there's a guy there, it's like, okay, let me just pull over now. Let me uh, come and say hello. Modified shot, and there we go. Pick 
keep all this good stuff. Take it with us. Farm some more resources just in case. And then someone showed me that, oh god, <laughs> that hurt. Luckily I've got some floppers. And here he comes with his good old rocket launcher. Like, bug you and your rocket launchers. Like, can you behave yourself for two minutes? And now obviously just back off because obviously the zone's coming in. But wait for him to come out. And there you go. Goodbye, my buddy. So take that to obviously heal and just quickly grab anything I can take here. Like right, I'm gonna take this, uh, but I, I want the rocket launcher as well. I do eventually think, do if I take the peppers, will the peppers help? Because obviously they'll help me to run faster. But I thought maybe I might get some healing or something from them, but it doesn't look like you do. You just run really, really fast, which is, is all right, fair enough. I eat another one just in case and there we go so as you can hear the NPCs again I'm like oh god not my NPCs and that's them over there building I was like bugger off just go away <laughs> nothing I need is NPCs chasing me all over the place so I'll quickly get this shield army and that's just kind of looking for health or anything we can find. So you can hear people obviously over in the yonder distance take the flare gun because I want to take this down. Like right, all I need to do now is just rocket it down. Obviously I felt like someone was here. Well, I don't know. And then I heard someone bounce. I was like, okay, what was that? He's over there. I was like, okay. Let me come and get this dude. And I was trying to build in front of me, but for some reason it wouldn't. And then I couldn't build there, which was kind of annoying. I was like, right, let me just build this and obviously keep myself safe. And then someone's shooting me from above there. I'm like, right, okay. So at this point I'm like, well I can easily just edit this one side here and then shoot it down, so let's do that. And there we go. And... Blunk! <laughs> he died! You died! So I don't know if he intended to do that, but there we go. That'll teach you to shoot at me from afar. So this is where the NPCs catch up to me. I'm like, oh god, no. This is not what I want right now. It's NPCs attacking me when I'm trying to keep myself safe here. And I've got these idiots attacking me. So what I tried to do was... I thought if I hit shot in, be in between them, the explosion would kill them. But apparently not. It needs to be dead on. So I managed to knock down the heavy marauder. So at this point I'm like, oh god, this is not what I need. It's all these idiots trying to shoot me. Distracting me while I'm trying to get a win here. I really hope that they do eventually take them out. Or at least just take them out of solos. So at this point I'm just trying to figure out if there's any human players with these marauders because I don't know. So at this point it's like, well what I can do while the marauders are obviously busy. Let me take down the structure above. Because I don't want obviously anyone to 
Me up there. Hoping not to get shot here as well. And then... Surprise, surprise, there was a person hiding there. <laughs> Ah, okay, there was a person in that build. I'm gonna took it down then. As you can see, there's people, uh, there's things going on everywhere, and then this, I believe, was a human player trying to then rocket launch me, which was kind of annoying. And at this point, it's like, I'm just gonna keep running. I'm just gonna run. Make a run for it. Get out of here. Hope that the NPCs can't catch me up. I didn't notice the healing, there was a healing there that I just missed. But obviously in the heat of trying to get out and checking around you and all that, sometimes you do miss the obvious and I, I did obviously miss that. Now I'm looking back here, I can see it. Just typical. I do see all this loot though and I'm like, ooh, how much loot? And this is probably obviously from the other people from the other builds. So trying my chance up, trying to snipe. So I can see obviously shield here, so I'll take this and take the flare gun again. As I have run out of rockets now. I noticed obviously through visualization someone's here. That like, where is it? I don't know why you can't build it, but you can't physically build. And I thought it was that, but it's not. It's that actual little wall uh, actually blocks you from being able to build. So now I'm just trying to think, is there anything I need to take quickly? So I decide to obviously go with that kind of combo. Now I feel pretty, pretty good. Everything I need. Just got to be careful, obviously, due to my health, because I'm literally one shot. Had I obviously taken that medkit from earlier, maybe I wouldn't have been, but hey, oh, again, like I said, I didn't really know. So, I mean, you know, people tell you as they watch it back, for you, obviously, you. you you get what obviously most players get, which is tunnel vision. You, you're more trying to anticipate what you're doing next rather than obviously anything else. Get rid of my dude here. Trying to make sure he doesn't snipe me. Which is why I took a few shots and then obviously took the time then to quickly build. burn down his build so he can't build. Right, come on buddy. Shoot him down again and then just go for it. And there we go. Hoorah! Well, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you're new, tap that notification bell to be notified of all my videos. You truly can be a convict or a convict And yes, it is I, the Cover Convict, standing out. And as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts, and I'll see you soon in some more gameplays. There you go. Nine kills using the Netduma R2 gaming router. What do you think? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And yes, from Kappa, bye for now.